Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a custom chip bag in design space without using a template. Okay, so what we're going to do first is go to Google and you're going to search whatever theme that you wanted to use or whatever. We're going to start with the base. So let's start with the background, whatever theme or color you want to use. That's what we're going to search first. have all of my images uploaded next what we're gonna do we're gonna start with our base and we're gonna make it 11 by 8.5 you want it to feel a full sheet of paper okay now what we're gonna do is just place everything on our background now for my like the main image the focal image I make it three inches wide and then we're gonna center it all right now we want to add hold on y'all For the barcode, I do it about 1.5. And then nutrition facts, we're going to do that about 2 inches. You don't have to put these on the same side because I think like on the actual real chip bag, they're on opposite sides. But for mine, I normally keep them both together because I like to put like a little thank you message on the other side. Okay. So we got those lined up and then I'm just going to realign this. We're going to group this. It's going to make that picture go to the back. Just going to put it back. Okay. So what we're going to do next, you don't have to do this part, but I like sometimes, depending on the theme and whether I'm using a background like this or like a full character background, I like to add the trimming on it. So we're going to go and get a square gonna unlock it we're gonna make it 11 inches wide and 0.75 tall okay then I'm gonna change the color this is okay so then you want to center it and then align top Gonna group that, send this to the back again, and then you want to duplicate that, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. Gonna align bottom and center, and then you want to group that and send this back again. The only reason I haven't grouped this yet because I'm going to adjust it. Decide what I want to add to and everything. Okay, so. Now, what I like to do if I know, if I'm assembling the bags, and of course I know the flavor of chips that are going in it, and I like to add like whatever type of chips is going to be at the top up here. But I also like to make it, make the color of it match. So, like, if I'm doing Cheetos, I don't want an orange Cheetos logo on the bag. I'm going to change it to match the color, the theme or whatever. Okay, so, I have my Cheetos logo uploaded. For this, 
it really depends on the image that I'm using here, whether I'm going to do around 2 or 2.5. You don't want it too big because that's not the focal point. It's just a little added feature, a little special, whatever you want to call it that I like to add. I'm going to add that there. And then we have this. So before I finish the middle part, we're going to go and add our little thank you message off to this side over here. Okay, now let's fill in this bottom part here. And I just searched LOL Surprise and then I put the number seven if that's something y'all want to do. So this is basically it. We can leave it like that. We're done. Or if you don't want like the chip bag type on the front of the bag, you can also take it. And just put it like on the side with a little message, make it a little smaller. And I, I do it this way too if like I'm doing an order that has different kinds of chips. So then they'll know what they're getting before they open the bag. So I just put it off to the back. And then if we're going to take it away from the front, we're just going to move this up. And we're just going to recenter everything. So, you just want to make sure they're aligned. Sometimes I use this, sometimes it doesn't do it right. See how I made it look like closer to the seven? I don't really like that. So, I'm just going to move it back up. Then, line everything again. I'm going to group them back together. And then we want to center it in the bag, like that. Okay. So that is it. So now your next step as far as printing, because if you know Design Space, we cannot print this chip bag in Design Space. And y'all need to get that together, Cricket. But anyway, so what we're going to do, I'm on the Mac. So, you can screenshot, if you know how to do it, is if, well, if you don't know how to do it, it's Command-Shift-3. You're going to screenshot it, then you want to crop it to only show the bag. So, you want to get as close as possible without leaving any white around it. And if you're using a Windows computer, you'll use the snipping tool. And if you're not sure where that is, you'll go to like your settings. And then it says like Windows C. And then in that search bar, you're going to type in snipping tool. And then you'll take a picture of it that way. And then you want to save it to your computer. So we're going to hit done. And then you also want to save your image. 
another thing you can do too in case like there's something I did forget. In case like you see how this is still set as a cut. It doesn't really make a difference. You can leave it that way. They can't see the cut lines. Once you screenshot it, you're not going to see the cut lines anyway. But what I do is I select all. Then I go down to flatten. You see how it changed the how the um, thanks for celebrating looks over here. So you can either. Let's see. Let's go back. If you like the little. You see how you can see the little trim around the white offset? It's fine for this one because it has black in it. The design has black in it. So it doesn't make a difference if you do forget, like I just did when I, before I screenshot it, if you forget to flatten it. But if you don't like that or if it doesn't really go with the theme, like I said, you'll select all of it and then you're going to flatten. And then you want to make sure you save your image. Anything can happen. You never know. So we're just going to save it as LOL chip bags. Okay. And I'm just going to screenshot it again since I went back and flattened it. Again, we're going to crop. While I'm doing this too, y'all let me know if y'all would like a video doing like the Capri Suns. And the Rice Krispie Treat labels that I also do. I can make a video for that as well. And I can show you how I I use this same image. So like I always start with the chip bag. And then I just go from the chip bag image. And then I'll crop out whatever I don't need for the juice labels and for the Rice Krispie Treat labels. So y'all let me know if y'all want a video showing that. Alright, so... Now that we have it saved, flattened, screenshotted, all of that good stuff, next we have to go and print it. Now, as far as printing, you can go to whatever um, printing app software, whatever you want to use to print. I use Canva. So we're going to go to Canva. We're going to go to custom size. And you want to do the 11 by 8.5. Okay, then we're going to go and get our screenshotted image. Don't mind all this stuff in my background, y'all. Okay. And if you, again, if you don't have Mac, you'll just go, if you want to use Canva, you'll just go over to the uploads, upload media, and you'll upload that way. It's just fashioned this way. Now you want to fill the whole page. So you can see down in this bottom right, this little black box that shows the numbers. You want to pull that down until it says 11 by whatever. It's ugly. Hold on. Let's start over. It did something funky there. Okay. Once again, make it 11 by 8.5. Sometimes it'll let you go a little bigger. And then you just want to center it on the page. Make sure you don't have any white around it. And that's it. Then you want to save it again here. Because this is going to save it to your actual computer to print. And then once you go to download... I say mine is a PDF print and then download. Simple enough. There you go. Here's your chip bag. You'll print it, assemble it, all the good stuff. Okay. So if you found the video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you want a video on assembling the chip bag because y'all thought i was gonna show y'all in this video didn't you nope so like i said if you want a video showing y'all how to assemble it how to crimp crimple it do the little zigzag cuts all that good stuff let me know down below share it with everybody 
and I'll make that video next. Only if y'all show me that y'all really want to see it, and I'll show y'all. And like I said before, if you want to see the juice labels, Capri, not that same thing, juice Capri Sun. If you want to see the juice labels, Rice Krispie Treat labels, let me know. Or if there's any other DIYs that you want to see, let me know that as well. And that is it for today's video. So thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day.